Mr. Vicero, the time has come for you to repay your debt to society. I don't owe society anything, Chancellor. I'll work for the Proximan Defense Corps only because you've given me no choice. We all have choices, Mr. Vicero. Your choice is to work for the PDC or be turned over to the Imperial Navy. I'm sure Admiral Kristoff would be quite interested in learning about your previous employer. I'm sure he would. That butcher executed all but a handful of my former colleagues. Your previous line of work, however unconventional, has given you the ideal training for the task at hand. Besides, you're the only one I can trust. In any case, you'll do as I say. Understand? You will be commanding a squadron of PDC units. I'll need you to send them to perform reconnaissance in our new home, the planet Vesta. But first, you'll need to learn how to navigate your view screen. Right now, your view is centered on the Copernicus. Hold down the right mouse button and move the mouse to rotate your view. Very good. Now, hold down both the left and right mouse buttons to zoom in and out. You can also use the scroll wheel if it has one. Good. Notice how the units are color-coded. PDC units you control are green. Other friendly or neutral units are white. Anything hostile will be red. Now, zoom out until you see a large green circle surrounding the ships. This represents the range of our sensors. You won't be able to detect other vessels outside of this range. You can quickly zoom in and out to any object by right-clicking on it. Try it on some of the ships in the fleet now. Good. If you are ever lost and need to get your bearings, right-click once or twice and you will zoom out to a comfortable view. To move your view freely around, move your cursor past the edge of the screen. Try it now. Excellent. I'm deploying a probe and four interceptors from the Copernicus now. Select these five units by holding down the left mouse button. Excellent. The readout to the right will list all of the units you have selected. Now click the right mouse button in empty space to zoom to them. Let's issue a movement order. First, make sure you have all five units selected. Before issuing movement commands, you will want to zoom out like this to get a better view of the surrounding area. You'll see a circular puck following your cursor. Click on a destination now, and your selected ships will travel there. Good. At times, it may be advantageous to maneuver your ships up and down as well. To do this, simply issue a movement command as before, but hold down the left mouse button and move the mouse up or down before releasing it. Excellent. You're learning quickly. Press tab to get a tactical over. From here, you can see the Proximan sun, surrounded by its planets and their orbit rings. Vesta is the green world, second from the sun. Send your units there by left clicking on it. New objective. Good. Your ships are en route. This is disturbing. Admiral Kristoff is deploying a full wing of Stinger fighters from the Ares. He knows something we don't. Stingers are attack craft, not survey vessels. We should follow them. Negative. We need those sensor readings of Vesta. But I do think we'll need to accelerate your training. I'm activating your interface panels. The squad panel to the left gives you instant access to all of your squadrons. Left click on a squadron to select it, or right click to zoom to it. You can also use the number keys on your keyboard. The unit panel above shows all the units in the selected squadron. 
You can left and right click on the unit panel, just as with the squad panel. You can also drag and drop units to rearrange your squadrons. The task panel at the lower right provides advanced commands that differ for each unit. Some of the commands, such as auto attack, toggle on and off. Formations are accessed through the task panel as well. You can access your mission objectives through the comm panel below. To lock and unlock any panel into place, click on the frame surrounding it. Squad 1 destination reached. Click your middle mouse button or mouse wheel now, or press the letter I key to toggle the interface panels. Do it again to turn the heads up to do it a third time to turn the HUD and you can go into chase camera mode simply by zooming in all the way to any unit. Then keep zooming in until your camera locks in behind that unit. To disengage, zoom out. Your ships are going into orbit. I'm initiating an atmospheric scan now. Stand by. Jacob, do you know what trichloroethylene is? I know it's not worth anything on the black market. It's also fatal to human life, and the atmosphere of Vesta is saturated with it. That's impossible. The Starfarer probe sent years ago said Vesta was habitable. It was all over the news. That's the whole damn reason we're here. We need to get your men prepared for action. Let's perform some combat maneuvers on those asteroids. Select your squadron, then left-click on an asteroid. To attack multiple targets, hold down the control key on your keyboard and drag select a group of targets with the left mouse button. Practice for a moment, but don't tarry, Jacob. Something foul is afoot. We need to recover the Starfarer. It should have entered a capture orbit about Proxima's sun. I'm pulling up its trajectory now.